Good morning students. We will continue with the 12th standard economics. Our next lesson, 10th lesson is environmental economics. So, your environnia is a French word. Environnia is a French word. Means surround. In the sense, it includes all the circumstances, chemical, biotic factor on the organism. So these all will decide the survival of both the uh, animals, living things and non-living things and also our human beings. So this can be said to be a double E that is environmental economics that is double E. So why we have to study this environment in this economics means to do the environmental surrounding. Uh, clean better to leave the uh, human beings the financial impact of this environmental issues and policies we have to formulate both for the local and for the international level so to formulate that policy the finance is needed so on based of this one we'll continue next uh, ecosystem Ecosystem includes living and non-living things. Living things in the sense plant, animals, organism. Non-living things means weather, earth, sun, soil, everything will gather. So these are all the foundation of biosphere as you studied in the lower classes. So biosphere, found, it is all this one living and non-living things is a foundation for all biosphere. So these all will decide the health of an entire earth system both for the human and for the animals next uh, we'll go for a linkage between economy and the environment usually human life will be interconnected with living and non-living things without them the human also cannot be living but the animals can live without the humans but without depending upon the nature, without depend upon the surrounding human cannot be. In the same way as, uh, as also animals, organism also, without the environment they cannot live. So along with that, human also has to be depend on this, depend upon the social, political, ethical and physiological factors. So life of a human is shaped by this all this environment. So this can be explained in the material balance model. So it was designed and given by the Helen Keynes and the R.V. Avarice Dyer. Both the economics has described this as a material balance model as a it should be balance flow between input and input. Yolo environment number use control and the local output agno. that's what the balance so that is the diagram they given see how much the mass input should be there that much of mass output should be there your in the local number environment we use control and the local output will ever know as a base stage at the end balance are okay they are selling so this is based on the law of thermodynamic that is uh, uh, in the lower class you study the heat energy matter and the energy that the what is that mass input should give a equal mass output other than the uh, matter and the energy what comes in must go out at the matter and the energy it should be so on base of this one this is also called as a balance approach principle or it is called as a balance approach so here the all the material and the energy what we are receiving from the earth receiving from the environment use it to produce a product or a consumption should get back to the environment as a waste maybe in the form of a liquid a solid or a gas so here in the diagram you can see that a raw material first atom or raw material we are getting from the environment from the nature so to produce any product we are using that is in the factories in the manufacturing field we are using so after manufacturing something will be waste so that should be recycled that the R and 
that should be reused or recycled and the waste of all the final waste should go again back to the environment. Next we consume household things what we are using. Again the waste should be there. You think that uh, in the kitchen your mom or uh, you are washing the vessels. Saman kalu or zinc kirkilla. Oppa what we are cleaning. And the zinc in upon the elam waste in video tali to clean amata which the same way in the household things we waste all should be there. That water will be going to the garden. And the final waste will be going to the environment. That's what they are telling. So we are getting so much from the environment out how much mass output what goes in that should go it should comes out and the local number environment use one room and the local waste product it should come back to the environment Allah. so this can be explained using the uh, formula see the formula here uh, G goods and services productions at the M at the G the goods and production RC is a residential discharge of consumption household single uh, we are after using the waste stage will come now the residential mean waste stage it comes out next step for the production manufacturing print the RP the waste stage from the industry next step, R Malor or Potukira, it is there, that is recycled off after the waste product also can be recycled and used. It. So, the final output only should come as a, a waste and it should go back to the environment, that is what equal to. So, th this is a, actually for a year, uh, environment is a supplier. All our surrounding is the supplier of all resources, may for both for the renewal and non-renewal. So this earth act as a zinc for the cleaning up of waste. But the nature has a some power to assimilate or word or book assimilate Abdina. All the waste it can be uh, take along with it. Earth and the waste and the power it has. That power the earth has. But there is a limit for us. Assimilate means that is a meaning. There is a limit the earth can do that one. So, so the earth has reached a, some saturation or word or saturation. Same way the most more the worst you are worst waste you are giving means some extent in earth also cannot cooperate unable to clean it. It also can be un non cooperate. And next, we'll go for the environmental good, goods. Environmental goods means non market goods. That means a clean air, a clean water, a landscape, green transport, both for infrastructure, a footpath, a public park, urban park, mountains, rivers, forests, beaches, all the what and all it is there, the green living, it should give the well-being of a human and for the surrounding. It is a very important to the healthy human beings and for the healthy environment. So here, environmental quality means a good character of an environment which emphasis. Emphasis in the sense means uh, it will come and hit the human beings. That means if we keep on destroying, if we keep on using more and more the environment, means the environment or resources, it won't be available for the further future use of another gen next generation. So, pure public goods is, is very essential for the environment. Everyone consume, everyone should consume that keep on using all the nobody is excluded using the environment means the final output what would be there there will be a depleted in our world depleted of resources Abdina. all the resources keep on decreasing the power of a natural resources will reduce if it's reduce means uh, for a next generation there will be no resources left to use it no resource left to use it means uh, 
the contribution for the GDP, number gross domestic product, what will be there? There will be no resources available to uh, to get through or increase the national income. The resources in the other manufacture money, uh, we can sell it for the international level, and then we can earn the money. But resources illana, then what we can do? So, so this is a enumeration to maintain the account of a natural resource. Adnalata in the resources, how much we have to use is how much we have to uh, should not use is and we have to keep for the next the generation. This year, how much resources we have to use in it? We have to enumerate the accounts of all the resources. Enumerate means keep the account of all the resources. So, next we will go for the externalities. That means externality means a third party effect arising from the production and consumption, but no compensation paid. For example, you think that uh, third party means if I am manufacturing. I'm a owner means I'm earning a profit. Those are working in the uh, that factory will have a salary range. But the surrounding those are living nearby a factory, they will affected or benefited. If they affected mean compensation it not be leather factory. All the leather factory wastage will come out no that will be mix it in the water. Now those are drinking that water they will be affected. But the affected people will not be paid any compensation that you are there. So, it is affect, this external is outside the market. It's not di affect directly. We cannot be uh, uh, directly by the uh, manufacturer. Indirectly, the waste is going in the river. It will be really connected to the, uh, the water where and all going. That place is in all we pay. That is indirectly affect. So, it is called as a spill over effect spill over effect so this externality can be divided into two categories positive and the negative in that also consumption and the production is there first we'll go for the positive consumption so you can see the positive and the negative consumption and production is there the positive consumption let's like see the example private security safety loudspeaker noise pollution a production positive like beehives and factory mention you can see so we'll explain in the further see here positive consumption for example a resident or a, a apartment is the resident for their security for their uh, safety they are requiting the uh, private uh, securities agency to look out their their residence but nearby that uh, apartment or nearby that resident and the house kitta and the home kitta in the and the vidala will be denigrated those uh, nearby that the house and all will be benefit so here the without paying nearby houses and all benefited but they are not paying any amount to that uh, private uh, security agencies so this is what the concept this is positive negative means uh, suppose a person is a cigarette smoker he only individual is satisfied but the surrounding those who are nearby that person a individual will be affected it is harmful for the surrounding this is what the negative consumption next positive consumption positive production externality means beehive 10 coder color beehive if it's in the um, apple field, it, you are thinking. So, beehive, what it will do? It will take the honey from various uh, places and collect the, mix the honey. So, here the, uh, both will be uh, benefited. Uh, honey also will be collected. The honey which is collected, honey will do the uh, pollination of a uh, uh, plant. So, you have apple blossom also will be there. Cultivation of apple also will be there. If it's in the, according to their field, either where apple field, bookla kutrakam, where field da irnala, and the, and the purl, and whatever the plant, whatever it is there, it will be helpful for the pollination. So, here, both will be benefited. Honey ka honey and kadichiche, you know, the pollination of a plant also will be spreading all the uh, plant growth also will be helped helpful for the farmers so this is called as a reciprocal 
untraded interdependency interdependency that means without giving any benefited trade its both way he was benefited in the both way positively production level if it's a negative negative suppose you think a company is recruiting staff so what does the company will give the training for that person but after doing all the training that staff will leave that company and go and join in the new company think that and the new company is will have a skilled labor skilled employee without giving the training that's what a negative production so here uh, one more thing is a uh, you can see negative production you can see the air pollution a uh, pollution from the fertilizer manufacturing the plant ku marund adikiradukala marund thayarpang ad ad cleaning everything will come noise pollution industrial waste collapsation of fist stocks and a uh, methyl emission emission uh, coming out methyl gas uh, manufacture pandra factory la so one more is a uh, emission and of a uh, air emission means comes out uh, the waste comes out polluting the air maybe in the form of air water is there so it will contaminate the uh, drinking if it's a water means it contaminate the water uh, example we can they are given the the textbook the word is a uh, they are given tanneries abhi leather factory output that is called as a tanneries but leather factory la and the kali will alla veliye varudilla and that water will be and the waste of water from that leather factory a chemical mix water that is if it's a, a, if a human will be using it it will be full allergy skin cancer also will come so that chemical water if it's uh, going to the river mixing with the river and also if it's going with the earth also keep on earth will keep on observing that uh, chemical water uh, that surrounding water if they put the bore well means uh, that chemical water only will come they cannot get to have pure environmental a uh, good water won't be there so innocent people will be affected without giving a compensation so these are all about the environmental Uh, economics will next class will go for the uh, pollution of air pollution water pollutions okay thank you